Hi, my name is Tan. I'm the drivetrain lead this year for University of Washington Formula Motorsports. And my main technical project this year is to design the upright. So there are four of these. Each one of them is unique on the car. And each of them basically holds up the uh, wheel hub, which will help transfer the load from the tire to through the super bracket over these trusses onto the uh, suspension A-arms uh, connections on these points on the upright. The other purpose of this uh, cool upright is actually it houses our two-stage planetary gearbox and that helps multiply our torque from our AMK uh, motor package through our uh, rear. And finally, it uh, holds the brake caliper to help stop uh, our wheels in the event of uh, braking zones or uprights that have been traditionally machined out of 7075 T6 aluminum, which is a very good, uh, has a very good strength to weight ratio. But uh, with the limitations of CNC machining, um, we're not able to access and remove a lot of the material, especially in the inner pockets. And so we wanted to go to I3D Manufacturing, which they're very kind enough to help uh, 3D print these parts out of Titanium 64, which also has very good material properties. And with the process change, we're able to remove a lot more material, especially in the areas that were previously impossible to access with CNC machining. And with this new part, we're able to reduce the part uh, mass by about 20%. And that's very important because for unsprung mass, any, anything they can reduce will improve the performance and control of the car. Thank you very much I3D Manufacturing for supporting our team. My name is Stephanie and I'm with I3D Manufacturing in Redmond, Oregon. I3D is a service bureau for metal additive manufacturing. Um, we typically get you know, a model from the customer and work with engineering to get it uploaded to the machine and then the machine does, does the magic. Um, so here we have an EOS M400 machine. Uh, this machine has four lasers, four 400 watt lasers, um, and they can be used independently or in conjunction um, and to stitch apart. So we have a hopper in the back that feeds metal powder. Currently this machine is in seven, eight, Inconel 718. Um, and what it does is we have a build plate of uh, substrate of metal and the recoder uh, coats a fresh layer of powder um, around 40 micron thick across the plate and then the lasers fire um, the product pattern layer by layer on top of that. The build plate moves forward, uh, moves down and then the recoder recodes a fresh layer again and so on and so forth.